In daily life, we are always expressing our opinions. I think that I agree with her, but I'm not so sure that... Hey guys, welcome back to Lingoni English. My name is Jeff, and in this video, we're going to talk about ways to show that you agree in English. We're going to start with some simple, easy ways to show that you agree with someone, and then later in the video, we'll talk about some more creative, advanced ways to show agreement. Let's start with this. I agree. I agree with you. So this is one of the most simple, fastest ways to express agreement. It shows that you agree with someone about something or that you agree with someone on something. That's true. That's true. That's true demonstrates that you agree with something that someone said, even if it's not an objective fact. For instance, someone could say, if you paint the walls a bright color, it makes the room look bigger. And you could say, I agree, or that's true. What that demonstrates is that you have the same opinion, even though it's not necessarily a fact. I guess so. I guess so. So this is another expression that you can use, especially if you're not 100% sure that you agree. But you need to be careful because the tone that you use to say this affects the meaning. So for instance, if you say, I guess so, that implies that it's more positive, like you are maybe even a little bit surprised by something that you agree with. However, if you say this a little bit slower or drag it out with a lower pitch, like, I guess so, I guess so, that shows more hesitancy, that you may not completely agree with what was being said. In fact, it can even make it sound like you may disagree with what was said. Definitely, absolutely. Definitely and absolutely are words that show strong agreement with something. Now, a quick note that absolutely, to some people can sound more enthusiastic or even more excited. So for instance, if your friend is having a party and you ask, hey, can I bring a plus one with me? And your friend says, oh, absolutely. That means that they're very excited and open to the idea. You can bring that other person. By the way, a plus one just means like someone extra. Maybe the host doesn't even know the person. But again, in this situation, the host is extremely happy to have them definitely doesn't always have that same level of enthusiasm or energy. However, it still means 100% agreement. So for instance, if you're taking a trip and you're trying to go to the airport and your friend asks you, hey, do we have enough time to make it for our flight? And you say, definitely, definitely. That again suggests that you think that there's enough time, but again, not as excitedly as absolutely. That's a good point. That's a good point. You know, when people are talking or debating a topic, they may use different arguments and strategies to try to convince each other. So when you hear something that you think is interesting and that you agree with, especially for instance, in a debate or argument, that's a good point is a way to show that you like their idea or that you agree with their idea. No, I think you're right. No, I think you're right. This is another pretty straightforward one. It says that you agree with something that someone said. What can make this a little bit complicated though is that sometimes people will say, no, I think you're right. But then people may also say, yeah, I think you're right. You'll, you'll hear both of those. And in fact, sometimes you may even hear, yeah, no, I think you're right. Yeah, no, it sounds like it's contradictory, but it really is just saying that you agree. Now let's look at some more advanced expressions, like this. I couldn't agree with you more. This again shows 100% agreement with the person that you're talking to. So for instance, if someone says coffee is better than tea, and you say, I couldn't agree with you more, that again shows that you're 100% in support of what they're saying. You can say that again. You can say that again. 
Notice that the stress is on the word that. And again, this is to show that you really agree with something that someone said. Now, you're not actually asking them to repeat it. It's just a way of showing your enthusiasm or your agreement with something. So again, if someone says, oh, it's really hot outside, and then you said, oh, you could say that again, it just shows that you really agree. It is really hot outside. You hit the nail on the head. You hit the nail on the head. Notice the stress on nail on the head. And again, this is showing that you believe that someone said something perfectly. You agree with exactly what they said. Think about it. If you have a hammer and you're trying to nail something, trying to hammer it down, you're trying to hit usually a nail, which is very, very small. So you need to be very precise and accurate. So when you say you hit the nail on the head, you're saying that someone did a job perfectly. Or in the case of speech, you're also saying that you agree with something that someone did. So for instance, you could say you hit the nail on the head. You really captured how we were all feeling during the meeting. Now saying that you understand someone's point of view is another way to express agreement. To get more practice with saying understand, be sure to check out Brian's video, 10 ways to say understand, right here. Thanks so much for watching Lingoni English. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next video.